Hi everyone, so as part of the Christmas festivities, I'm actually going to one of my friend's house and like I said, you know, I've been just um, going out with friends, to the movies, eating from out, so I haven't had time to cook anything special and record, um, you know, those cooking videos. But today I'm actually doing something very simple, but yet I thought I'll just share it and make a YouTube video so that you might get um, some idea, you know, because sometimes simplicity is also equally good and you don't always have to cook complicated stuff. Uh, so actually I'm going to my friend's place, so they're actually handling the meat and everything, cutting up, doing all the big tasks. So I'm just going to do the easy things today, just chill and relax. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, butter fry some veggies. So it's very simple, just butter and salt and pepper if needed. So I'm just gonna add salt, pepper towards the end if needed. Uh, but yeah, just simple ideas on how to make butter fried veggies, so pan fried. I have a grill pan, but I'm just too lazy because being Christmas, I've just been a lazy girl. So I'm just going to use a pan and just fry it up. First, I'm butter frying some baby corn, so pan fried baby corn with butter and salt. Very simple. A buttered and pan fried baby corn is ready. Next, I'm going to do the same with some mini asparagus. Looking nice and lovely and you can see how easy it is just to fry up some veggies with butter and salt. If you're using salted butter, you don't need to add too much salt. Once it's nicely fried and ready, we can set it aside. Look at it, so lovely. Here I got some mushrooms, cut up into halves. I'm going to do the same thing with these as well, butter fry them. And there it is, nicely frying away. Simple idea for some lovely buttered pan fried veggies got some baby potatoes as well that I've steamed up so this is what I bought from the shop I'll be taking this along as well to my friend's place our mushrooms are nicely taking shape Being nice and ready so I'm going to take it off the heat and set it aside apart from that here it is everyone our lovely buttered pan fried veggies are ready don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel enjoy bye all right everyone so i'm here at my friend's house and we are ready she is more of a sister than a friend to me always bails me out when i'm in trouble she's younger than me but <laughs> i'm the one who gets into trouble she rescues me anyway <laughs> cut the details it's christmas time approaching we have to be with people we love and care about even though we fight with them at times so here i'll show you a sneak peek of what's happening all right so using this pilau masala my friend is making the pulao rice. Look at it, people. Nice and steamy and brown in color. Some tomatoes cut up nice and neatly. And this is the meat. Uh, so you can see the meat is in the air fryer. So it's frying and dripping away the excess oil. And it's nicely frying up. So everything's slowly getting prepared and this is the veggies buttered and fried that I brought over. So everything nice too. Put it over. You can see that the meat is getting nice and ready. That's excess water dipping down. There it is everyone. The lovely meat is ready. So this is beef or lamb? Lamb. Yeah. So this is beef. Lamb is in. You can see. Um, so yeah. what went into it was a powder. This was seasoned and marinated with some Maggi stock and also some um, what's it called? Seasoning powder. Seasoning powder. Yes, that's what it's called. So if you get some beef seasoning powder and some Maggi stock, the cubes, just crush it into powdery um, consistency. Marinate it over the beef and put it off into the air fryer and you'll get this lovely dish. And yes, also check the seasoning, add salt, pepper if necessary, that's up to your personal preference. Get all this lovely lettuce being cut up for salad. In order to make the pulao, what she said is, um, you know the measurement for one cup of rice, we use two cups of water. So depending on how much rice you use, you add that much amount of water. So basically just heat oil in a pan, cut up one or two, you know, small to medium sized onions, fry it up. Okay. and then add in the rice and then add in some maggi stock cube and the pulao masala powder the amount of masala you use depends on the amount of flavor you want for the rice and then just add the water and um, once it's ready it will be nice and flavorsome and lovely there it is and the salad is nice and ready so for this we use the french salad dressing on top that was bought from the shop 
All right, so hope all of you enjoyed this. So we are going to just set everything up and prepare for our party and enjoy and have a blast. So hope all of you enjoy your Christmas too and you started your celebrations. Apart from that, take care, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye.